Good day everyone, I'm Dave, and today we're gonna to be doing a tool teardown. Today's tool is a belt sander, something that most everyone has at home. We're gonna be ripping it apart, see what we can find inside, see if we can repair it, or see if we have to salvage it. So when it comes to these tools you throw in the garbage, doesn't matter, every single tool has value. And I'm just gonna drop that into each one of these, see if there is any screws. No screws there, no screws there, no screws there. I may already have all the screws out. So toss all those screws, hang on to them, use them for another project, use them for another repair. So in this case, next thing we're gonna do is try to open up the plastic. Please don't use that pry method. I, and I always hate when I see that plastic torn apart. You shouldn't need to. You should just be able to pull a little bit, just be patient, come across. If it doesn't open up, look for hidden screws. Sure enough, we missed one. The plastic should always pull apart quite easily. And if it doesn't, again, look for those hidden screws. So let's try it again. There it is. You can see how little pressure that took for a tool that's never been opened by me anyways. So if we look at this, there's our cord. In this case, of course, the cord's chewed up. But that being said, I'll still save it. And how we do that, of course, is again, strip those screws out. A lot of the old tools, this plastic was molded on. The newer tools, it isn't, it just slides on. So literally if I want to, actually I could even reuse the cord, cut it here, slide that cover back down to the new spot, restrip it, add it into the switch. For the switch, in this case, we actually have two screws and we'll actually open that up. There's the cord off. I can take that rubber grommet out. I can reuse that for the next tool. I could save quite often, obviously, the screws. The lockdown, these lockdowns are actually quite common, usually the same one in each tool. The switch, same idea. I can take both sides out. One of the obvious ones, of course, is saving the belt. Pull the lever off, get the tension off. Save your belt. So with this, we had our one screw on this side that was actually worn out. That was holding the bearing in, was holding that side in. And theoretically, that should all there should be. There should be on this side, of course, it's locked down by the cover. And there's your second bearing right there. So this armature, actually, I should just be able to pull it out. And here it is coming out. Sure enough, I'm looking. I can see some burn marks onto this. I can look a bit more. There's another bearing here. There's a metal cover here. You can see this thing's a bit chewed up. It's not centered. It's worn. So if we look inside, we can see what the condition is on the inside too. And as we look around, we can see there's definitely some worn spots. There's metal fragments inside. I'm pretty confident it's not worth repairing. If I actually start pricing out the price of a new state or a new armature, it's going to get to the point where it's not worth it. The bearings, in this case, this bearing is actually good. I'll toss that into my collection for saving. And same idea, just keep on stripping it right on down. And we'll continue on on this side. We'll have a look. We can even look at the brushes since we got this open. That should just come right off. And there's our brushes there and there so the winding as you can see it's it's slowly coming out it's just it's it's just been cooked in there a little bit and melted some of the plastic so she's sticking a little bit it'll take a little bit of effort to, to pull that out so let me drop these last few wires in maybe the wires are also helping hold it in place and actually in this case that's all it was so that in this particular situation it wasn't cost economical to actually repair, but for something that was thrown in the garbage, about five or six dollars worth of screws, another about five or ten dollars worth of metal, a belt that saved me about seven bucks for another one, a bunch of knobs and that, which will save me for some other tools, and best of all, got myself a bit of extra experience. Thanks for watching. If you've got any thoughts, any comments, please leave them in the comments below. For more tools, tips, tricks, and teardowns, please subscribe. 
and watch our other videos. And thanks for watching.